Tortilla de patatas, the classic Spanish potato omelet, it's certainly one of the greatest things like ever. Now today we're going to be making a tortilla paisana. It's very similar to the classic tortilla de patatas, you know, made with potato, onions, eggs, and extra virgin olive oil. I've said it's packed with veggies, and you can also add Spanish jamón serrano. Guys, this omelet is super easy to make. It has an incredible combination of flavors, and it's perfect for breakfast, brunch, or just about any meal of the day, and even for potlucks. You take one of these tortilla paisanas to your next potluck and you're going to be the talk of the town. Okay, we're going to begin by peeling two medium-sized Yukon Gold potatoes. Then rinse them under cold water, pat them dry with some paper towels, and start cutting them into small thin pieces. Then add the potatoes into a saucepan, fill it with water to about an inch above the potatoes, season with sea salt, and heat it with a medium-high heat. Okay, while our potatoes are boiling, let's cut the rest of our ingredients. Finely mince two cloves of garlic. Then finely dice one large onion. Finely dice one small red bell pepper. And one small green bell pepper. Finely dice about half of a zucchini. And reserve a quarter cup of frozen peas. Okay, now we're gonna start cooking our veggies. Guys, for this recipe, it's very important to use a high quality non-stick frying pan. Otherwise, when you do the flip of the tortilla, the omelet's gonna be stuck to your pan. It's gonna be a huge mess. Trust me, I'm speaking from experience. Invest in a good quality non-stick frying pan. Okay, we're gonna heat it with a medium heat, and I'm gonna add a quarter cup of extra virgin Spanish olive oil. Once the oil gets hot, add the diced onions, minced garlic, and start mixing them with the oil. You want to stir this occasionally, and I'm going to cook this for about four minutes. Next, I'm going to add the diced bell peppers. Mix them around. Again, you want to stir this occasionally, and I'm going to cook these bell peppers between six to seven minutes. After about seven minutes, I'm going to add the diced zucchini, the quarter cup of frozen peas, seasoned with sea salt, freshly cracked black pepper and mix everything together. I'm gonna cook this between five to six minutes and again, you wanna stir this occasionally. That way your veggies don't burn. It's been about six minutes since I added the zucchini and the peas and the veggies look beautiful. These are perfectly cooked. So go ahead and turn off the heat and let them cool. Right as our veggies are done, our potatoes have been boiling for 25 minutes and they should be perfectly cooked. Go ahead and turn off the heat, drain the water and set them aside. Now I'm gonna crack six large organic eggs into a bowl. Season them with sea salt, freshly cracked black pepper, and beat them. Once they're well mixed, I'm gonna add the cooked veggies, the boiled potatoes, season with sea salt, and mix everything together until it's well combined. Okay, now we're gonna transfer our egg mixture into the same pan that we cooked our veggies. Guys, this is the step where it's very crucial that you use a non-stick frying pan or the omelet will stick. Okay, let's heat it with a low heat. And I'm gonna add the mixture into the pan. Then using a wooden spoon, you wanna mix everything around a little bit. That way everything's evenly distributed. Okay, it's been exactly five minutes since we added the mixture into the pan. Right before we flip this tortilla uh, with a spatula, you just run it through the outer edges of the pan just to make sure that nothing is stuck on there. Okay, now it's time to do the famous dale la vuelta a la tortilla, flip the tortilla. To do this, just place a plate on top of the pan, grab the pan, flip it. Yeah, look how beautiful that came out. Okay, and then slide the tortilla back into the pan to cook the uncooked side. Now what you want to do is run a spatula through the outer edges of the pan. This is going to give our tortilla that classic rounded edge. And once in a while, you know, just move the pan around, that way the tortilla is not stuck on there. Okay, our tortilla's been cooking for about 11 minutes. That's six minutes on the first side, five minutes on the other side, and our egg should be perfectly cooked through. Go ahead and turn off the heat and transfer tortilla onto a dish. Okay, our tortilla paisana has been resting for about five minutes and it's ready to go. Uh, you can leave this to sit for a little bit longer to let the flavors develop, but I can't wait that long. Okay, I'm gonna cut a slice, that way I can show you guys what it looks like inside. And look how beautiful that came out and all the egg is fully cooked through. Okay, now I'm gonna give this tortilla paisana a try. Salud. Oh man, this is so good. And I'm not just saying that, this is seriously insane good. I'm a big fan of the classic tortilla de patatas, but this is just like an elevation of flavors with all those vegetables. Guys, you're really gonna love this. You guys saw it, it's easy to make, simple ingredients, 
perfect for breakfast, brunch, potlucks, any meal of the day, any time of the day. You guys are really gonna love this tortilla paisana. If you enjoyed today's video on making this recipe, please hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe. Until the next time, hasta luego.